you can say you didn't know that it was guaranteed that there would be violence and shit like that, but don't tell me you didn't think that there could be. There's way too many people on the internet that were constantly hyping that shit up. It was like more hype for that fucking siege on the six than it was for the fucking cyberpunk game. No matter what platform you were on, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, there was always somebody talking about, you just wait till January 6th, we're going to take this country back. What do you think they meant by that? Good old friend of the show, Ben Shapiro, and he's going to give his thoughts on a Don Lemon segment where he said everyone who voted for Trump sided with the Klan or something to the effect of that. I'm sure it's probably a lot more nuanced than what Ben's given him credit for, but let's see. <laughs> what the left is attempting to do is paint all of us with that brush. That The left's behavior over the last week has really been a, in a justification of Trump's long-stated rationale for his own power, which is, he says, the reason that they're attacking me is because they want to attack you. And again, the proof is in the pudding because we've seen a lot of that this week. I don't think it's wholly that. I think there are some people on the left who legitimately want to separate between people who supported Trump. It's a, it's a two-party system. People who voted for Trump, people who are conservative, and the worst aspects of Trump. But I think that that is far from the rule in, in democratic circles at this point, which is- What exactly is he saying? That like, Democrat, is it, are we back to the ALC list shit again? Is that what this is about? Are we trying to pretend that we're trying to like round up Trump supporters or some shit? Is that what this is? I mean, if you broke into the fucking Capitol, you goddamn right they're looking for your ass. But <laughs> that, that that's a whole other can of worms. Is he trying to conflate wanting to get elected officials out of government who supported this fucking like insanity for the last four years with ostracizing just regular ass people like my neighbor down the street that's still got a fucking Trump flag hanging off the front door of their house? Like, is that what he's implying? It's really a problem. It's really, really a problem. I'll give you a perfect example. So last night, Don Lemon, the id of the Democratic Party, he's just a Democratic mouthpiece. So Don Lemon really just laid it out there. He, he legitimate. so Chris Cuomo was with him. And when Chris Cuomo is the voice of reason in a room, you know things have gone wildly wrong. So Chris Cuomo on CNN was saying, are you really trying to suggest that every Trump supporter is responsible for what happened during the Capitol riots? And Don Lemon said, yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. If you supported Trump, you were in league with the KKK. You were in league with Capitol rioters. You were in league with... I really don't think he said that. I really have a hard time believing that, that Don Lemon went that fucking based of a take. But I'll fucking say it. If you voted for Trump after the last fucking four years, after everything that happened... Over the last four years, if you still voted for that shit, then yes, you are in league with these motherfuckers. You are a part of Hydra, okay? You are in league with the Legion of Doom. I'm sorry. You don't get to feed into this shit for years. And then finally, when they go mask off and the country turns on them, now all of a sudden it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. You can't say I was a part of this or anything. No, no. No, because if you had it your way, you would have voted that motherfucker back in the office and we'd be going through this shit and worse. Fuck you. No, no, no. Y'all don't get no sympathy for me. Fuck you and your unity. Fuck you. Segregationists. Here is Don Lemon just smearing every single conservative in America with the capital rights. Republicans know you're doing this. I mean, we, we have eyes and we know that there are consequences to accepting that version of reality. The consequences is we the consequences. We all get excised and marginalized from the public conversation. And so the- Let me tell you a secret, Ben. There is no God-given right for you to be a part of the public conversation. We have the right to tell you to fuck off. You're not guaranteed a voice in the public conversation.
Now, we can't take away your right to vote, to participate in democratic elections. Sure, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. Vote for whoever you want. But that doesn't mean that we have to allow you a platform to spread this bullshit. No. Let the markets decide, right, baby? The, our answer is no. We are not going to go along with it, whatever you... <clears throat> yes! Yes! Yes, I throw them in the exact same group. I, you don't have to be white to support white supremacy. You don't have to necessarily be white to benefit from white supremacy. I know, oddly enough, it's counterintuitive, but it's true. You can still, Candace Owens is a perfect example. Candace Owens is blacker than me, I skin tone wise. And she benefits from white supremacy way more than I fucking do. Her whole career is built around advocating for white supremacy. No. Asians, black folks, Hispanics, uh, Middle Eastern people, I don't give a fuck. If you supported that shit, you support the people who ran into the Capitol last week. I'm sorry. What you want us to do? Like I said, 2016, it, it, a lot of people, I excuse that as a fluke. Like, you know what? They were just sick of the way the country was going. People were frustrated. They weren't fucking happy. And they were willing to roll the dice on Trump. Okay, fine. Four years later, almost half a million America Americans dead. The highest unemployment we've seen since the Great Depression. We've pulled out of the Iran deal, the Paris Climate Accords. Like, we are a joke on the world stage. Our economy is spiraling. We had the biggest upward transfer of wealth in human history. If after all of that, and I'm leaving out a whole bunch of shit. And if after all of that, you still going like, yeah, no, no, I want some more of this. Then no, you're, you're fucking dead to me. <laughs> like, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> right. That is what is driving so much opposition to the impeachment by a Republican. Yeah, 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 yeah. The only thing that he actually, well, he started the wall. He definitely didn't finish it. He did start it, though. Because after all, Republicans were in that house, too. Those Republicans were being attacked largely by Trump. Trump was spending more ire on Mike Pence than he was on the Democrats. Trump was spending more ire on the governor of Georgia and the secretary of state of Georgia than he was on the Democratic Senate candidates. Republicans were Trump's targets far more than Democrats were over the last two months. So shouldn't you be on the same side supporting excising people who supported Trump, seeing as how Trump was even going after members of his own party for not being loyal to him? Ben, I thought you had a come to Jesus moment during the fucking um, um, debates when Trump said that stand back, stand by shit. Like, I, I legitimately thought Ben had a come to Jesus moment because in that moment, Ben was like the only person on that Daily Wire panel that was actually talking something close to reasonable thoughts. And not his bipartisan extremist bullshit. <sighs> and why do they support someone in a party who hates them? Mm, internalized racism, internalized bigotry. Um, for some people, they've just been convinced that the other side is just just as bad, if not worse. It's, it's, it's a multitude of reasons. He was suggesting that they were somehow disloyal. So Republicans, you know, are, are, not, are the ones who are taking the brunt of Trump, not Democrats. And nonetheless, when you lump everybody oh, wow. together like this, this is the problem. If you want to go forward as a country, you have to stop lumping every single person together with the worst aspects of the other side. You have to stop setting standards that you... I'm sorry, is this Ben Shapiro, Mr. Leftist Tears mug himself, saying not to lump people in together? Where was this dialogue during the protest, Ben? Because surely you were one of the main advocates for separating protesters from rioters, right? 
No, that's right. You didn't do that. Or, or surely you aren't calling Kamala Harris and Joe Biden radical left and, and, and socialists and shit. Oh, wait, no, you did that too. Huh. Ben, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? Like, legitimately, you can't sit here and say that it's wrong for Democrats to lump, you know, people who voted for Trump in with the more extreme elements of the party when that is what your whole show is about. Is pretending that liberals, leftists, progressives, anything under the sun that's not Mussolini is all a part of the same thing. Like, that's what cracks me up about conservatives. They pretend that they hate collectivism, but if anything, they are more collectivist than we are by quite a bit. People on the left infight so much. Liberals hate leftists. Leftists hate liberals. Leftists hate other leftists. Like, it, you know, nobody likes the progressives. Like, like everybody fights with everybody on the left conservatives they will fall in line and they're like hey we doing this shit yourself do not hold to here was don lemon doing precisely the opposite last night if you voted for trump you voted for the person who the clan supported you voted for the person who nazis support you voted for the person who the alt-right supports that's the crowd that you are in. You voted for the person who incited a crowd to go into the Capitol and, and potentially take the lives of lawmakers, took the lives of police officers, took the lives of innocent lives who were there on the Capitol that day. You voted on that side. You voted on that side, you see. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's exactly what I thought. He didn't say anything that Ben is implying right now. Ben, Ben is twisting what he said. Now, granted, what he said was inflammatory, sure. But he didn't say that you and those people are the same thing. He's saying that you supported a man who these people also support. basically trying to get at what does that say about your beliefs if this is the group that also supports your guy if this is the company that you're in that should tell you that your belief system probably draws in some pretty unsavory people now if you want to take that as hey we're saying you're just as bad as a clan Fuck it, I'll say the shit. Fuck it. <laughs> Don, right, you, you Don, Don Lemon got a contract and, and he get paid millions of dollars to be on TV. He can't say that shit. I'll say it though. Intentionally did it. You knew this was gonna happen. You you were aware of the possibility that this was going to happen. And uh, yes, even even at the most charitable, I feel like he's snarling at me right now. Even at the most charitable, no one can argue that you didn't at least know there was a possibility that this could happen. Like I just said a few minutes ago, at the, the fucking debates with Biden, he told the Proud Boys to stand by. Everyone knew there was, a, I mean, the Unite the Right rally just happened a couple years ago. We know how they roll. If you don't know, you've been in a coma for the last four years. They're like that, that's the only thing I can think. You can say you didn't know that it was guaranteed that there would be violence and shit like that, but don't tell me you didn't think that there could be. There's way too many people on the internet that were constantly hyping that shit up. It was like more hype for that fucking siege on the six than it was for the fucking cyberpunk game. No matter what platform you were on, Instagram, Snapchat, 
TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, there was always somebody talking about, you just wait till January 6th, we're going to take this country back. What do you think they meant by that? Did you think that Pence was going to fucking like abracadabra some shit with the electoral college votes and then Trump was going to win? They knew that he couldn't change the results of that. It's over. It's certified. All he's doing is some formality shit. They went there with the intention of sieging the Capitol. Of overthrowing the government. That was the point. So yes, if you voted for them, you knew what the fuck was coming. And you voted for that side. Okay, you know how easy it is? to say the same about the other side. It's really, really easy to say that every single Democrat who voted for Joe Biden was totally fine with the Black Lives Matter riots that wrecked cities and got people killed. Every single person on the left was totally fine with Antifa. After all, Joe Biden said Antifa is an ideology. Here's the thing, I don't think every single Democrat is okay with that stuff. In fact, I think most Democrats are not okay with that stuff. I I'm okay with, I, 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 I support doing what's necessary if an injustice if an injustice has been done to you and or your community i feel you have a hundred and ten percent right to fight back against your oppressors you not only have the right to you have a moral obligation to yes i think one of the reasons joe biden ended up as president-elect is because many democrats rejected that kind of radicalism from other members of the party nonetheless this is the narrative from the left and because of that narrative there cannot be unity, even in a time where there should be unity, as always, as always. Whenever I say there should be unity, I don't mean you have to agree with me. I mean that there is a political approval of the basic idea that violence is bad in American life. 90% of Americans believe this, but many of the elites don't believe this. Many of the people who are in media believe that violence on one side is okay. No, our founding fathers said the same thing. Like, hey, we have an obligation to overthrow our uh, tyrant if our government becomes tyrannical. It is the responsibility of the people to overthrow that government. They just think on your side it's not okay. Many of the elites believe that evidence is unnecessary to prove basic contentions about American life. Only on their side. On the other side, you need evidence. Right? When Trump says widespread voter fraud, you need evidence. When we say America is a systemically racist country and every single discrepancy between performance of groups is due to that innate American racism, we don't need any evidence of that. When you back that sort of double. Ben, Benjamin, buddy, pal, friend. We have been making arguments in support of the existence of systemic racism in this country for decades. People like you will always try to find a way to deflect and downplay these disparities and discrepancies and how African Americans, just people in color in general, or, or any minority group, whether you be gay, trans, uh, immigrant, person of color, woman, like, like, like it doesn't matter. Y'all always make it seem like these problems are either non-existent, or if you admit they exist, they're not as big a deal as you as we make them out to be. And if you do admit it exists and it is a big deal, you'll just find something else that's an even bigger deal and do a whataboutism and say, why aren't we talking about that? So it's like no matter what, you always go and alternate between one of these three things. It either isn't there. It's there, but it's not a big deal. It's there and it's a big deal, but there's something over here that's a bigger deal. So let's talk about that instead standard no one is going to unify with you because you are being dishonest you do not deserve unity if you are being dishonest in your standards again the basic idea here is the democrats <laughs> bitch we got evidence read a goddamn sociology textbook exactly get rid of trump primarily the goal is the political goal the goal is everybody on the right is with trump and trump is with the rioters by the transit of property you are with the rioters and just like the rioters have been excised from american life as well they should be because they are criminals you should also be excised from american life this is utterly foreseeable you and the rioters are tied at the hip. Trump is the glue that holds you and the rioters together. And so if you voted for Trump just to oppose Joe Biden, or you liked a lot of what Trump did, but you didn't like his personality, or you liked Trump's personality, but you didn't expect this to happen, you are still glue. 
I still don't. You cannot make an argument to me that people didn't think this was going to happen. You cannot make that argument to me. I refuse to let you make that argument. You cannot. Also, is he still doing that weird thing where he pretends he's recording himself with a microphone, but then he has a mic pinned to his shirt? He He's still doing it, isn't he? He literally has an earpiece in. But he's pretending that he's... Oh, my God. Glued together with the people who decided to violate the seat of democracy. Hey, what's up, Jess? Uh, well, yes, of course. Everybody should. A thousand percent thought something like this would happen. Like, of course. Hell yeah. Like, nobody in their right mind could could look at the last four years, look at the last four months specifically, and say, yeah, yeah, I don't think, yeah, this will all just peter out. <laughs> ...and try to harm Congress people and legislators and the Vice President of the United States. Lynn Wood, we covered this on the stream. Lynn Wood literally called for Mike Pence's execution on Parler. The Secret Service, oh my God. People on the right see that. And when the media keep repeating that line over and over, it's not hard to see why people on the right believe that. The social fabric is frayed because social fabric gets frayed when people doubt each other's motives. Okay, and, and when one side is basically openly suggesting that the other side is evil all the time, I talk about this on the program a lot, people on the left have a tendency to believe that people on the right are legitimately evil. Right? In 2016, they couldn't believe that Trump won because they thought that anyone who opposed Barack Obama or Hillary Clinton I can't, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot believe I am hearing Ben Shapiro of all fucking people say that the left tries to make the right seem like they're evil. Y'all motherfuckers will say that we are like lizard people inhabiting the bodies like the husk of human beings and like sucking like adrenochrome out of like babies fucking brains or some shit like uh, the irony is incredible it was evil and so their first reaction was i can't believe there's so many evil people in the country not maybe we were wrong not maybe we ought to investigate the, the yeah they rushed pence to somewhere i don't know where but no he he they immediately got his ass fuck out of dodge they like they here for you <laughs> They thought that anyone who opposed Barack Obama or Hillary Clinton was evil. And so their first reaction was, I can't believe there are so many evil people. in the No, 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 no. It is not because you opposed Hillary or Obama that we thought you were evil. It was why you opposed Hillary and Obama that we thought you were evil. There's a difference. In the country, not maybe we were wrong. Now, maybe we ought to investigate the, the minds of the people who didn't vote for us. There was about a five minute period where they were interested in that. And then they went right back to Trump is a white supremacist and all of the people who support him are white supremacists. And now they get to fall back because Biden won. They're now falling back on that same hackneyed and vile misinterpretation of American life. And impeachment is just their latest attempt to do this. People on the right can see this. So it's really not about what Trump did for a lot of folks, a lot of folks. Like, uh, again, I, I think good-hearted people can disagree on impeachment. I have a lot of friends who are pro-impeachment on the right. I have a lot of friends who are anti-impeachment on the right. I have a lot of friends who are pro-censure on the right. But what I think is that those, those arguments, many of which are principled, some of which are prudential, I talked about this at length yesterday, they take a back seat overall for the future to the broader question of whether we can live together. And if one side of the political aisle is determined to lump 74 million Americans minimum because right, those Americans have kids, they have relatives. Who and also, I love how he's already framed everything earlier in the video. He framed this whole thing of Don Lemon is the id of the left. So now anything that Don Lemon says, he can superimpose that over everyone who's left of conservatism. And say he speaks for them. He speaks for me because, again, like I said, fuck all y'all motherfuckers. Like, all y'all can go straight to fucking hell. I swear to God. It, it, Elon Musk can get his fucking Mars child sex colony set up soon enough so we can send y'all fucks all to fucking Mars and y'all can live up there and be happy. Who didn't vote? 
So you're really talking about easily over 120 million Americans. If you're determined to lump that many Americans into one group of deplorables, then- Oh yeah, Jazz, Trump is is 110% of fucking white supremacists. Between the lawsuits for him not letting uh, black people rent his apartments, to the shit about the Central Park Five, to the shit that he said um, about um, uh, Mexicans coming to this country, the, the, the Muslim ban, I, 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 the the birther movement shit like all oh, no no I'm, no no i i would never have an argument where anybody would even come close to convincing me that trump is not a white supremacist get the fuck out of here and we can't it, it's going to be very difficult for us to have a country in the future because we can't even solidify around basic notions like violence in politics and generally is bad and claims deserve evidence we can't even unify around that did you know that <sighs> I need to watch this because I laugh at these like almost every time. His little things at the end. ...is bad and claims deserve evidence. We can't even unify around that. Did you know that every like on this video creates one additional leftist tier? Don't ask me why. That's called science. To take advantage of this amazing opportunity, <laughs> hit the like button. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my God. Can you imagine making your entire online personality around, I make people who don't agree with me cry?